Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. This is your host, White Boy 503. Um, last time we got to Cosmos Canyon, which is Nanaki's homeland, um, and his grandpa is going to show him, show us his uh, apparatus or whatever. So let's see what the hell it is. Ho 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 ho! It looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand right there. Sorry about my mouse. So pretty. <laughs> it's just like seeing the... It's just like the real thing. Hmm, yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered in a th in in uh, or are entered into this 3D holographic system. Hey, a shooting star. And there's a planet. I think those are comets. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Kinda looks like our solar system, doesn't it? Just saying. I think Square Enix got that from somewhere. I'm just playing. I have no clue. Wow, how wonderful. Ho ho ho, yes. It is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and it returns to the planet. That much everybody knows. What about their consciousness, their hearts, their souls? The soul returns to the planet, too. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet, in fact. All living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy of souls roaming the earth. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the planet into the world and then the time comes they die and once again return to the planet of course there are expectations or are exceptions but this is the way of the world I've disagreed just I think that's what it says but you'll understand better if you watch this The spirit, spirit energy makes all things possible, trees, birds, and humans. Not just living things, the spirit energy makes it possible for planets to be planets. What happens if the spirit energy were to disappear? Wow. Planet gets destroyed. These are the basic studies. These are the basics of the study of life, planet life. If the spirit energy is lost, then our planet is destroyed. Ho ho ho! The spirit energy is efficient because it exists. 
within nature. When, when spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it cannot accomplish, cannot accomplish its true pur pur uh, purpose. You were talking about Mako energy, right? Everyday Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy gets compressed in the reactors and processed to make Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. Well, we knew that. But thank you for the history lesson of why it will exactly destroy the planet. So, I guess that's good. We know kind of more why we should not like the Shinra. The story of the planets and those who lived with them. You want to know more? Then you must listen to the words of the elders. Okay. Well, let's see if we can talk to him and see if he says anything else. Nanaki, his father, a coward. So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking that all this time. Alright. Grandpa sealed this door shut. How did he do that? With super glue? No, my young mm, sir. Not super glue. Let's talk to this whole guy. Oh man, I'm so busy. I need more help. Murmur complaint. Okay, she doesn't say anything else, so we guess we'll come over here. We're just going to kind of search around the uh, town and see what we can find. Hmm, yawn. Sir, you forgot your change. Let me talk to him again. Um, yes, I'm coming. Are you here to shop? That's right. Oh, is that so? You're here to shop? I'm sorry, we've hardly ever had any customs, so... But you do have a uh but I do have a confidence in our materia. So we have MP plus and HP plus here. Um, I won't probably be using this for now at least. I might use it later, but I'm trying to. I'm want to see if I can do it without that because it's kind of a waste. So we'll come over here and there's nothing really. It's just kind of a viewpoint. So we're gonna come back down here. Alright, I'm going to walk into here. Ah, here it is. My job is to gather all the knowledge, or all the legend and the knowledge of the planet to make a book. And even if I, when, and even, then even, when I return to the planet, my, uh, uh sorry. Then, even when I return to the planet, the children may still be taught many things. Taught about many things. Hmm? Oh, we have guests. Good, good. I know, I know. You came to ask me... You came to ask me something, right? Am I right? It's about the promised land. The promised land. So, you want to know? There's no... There's no one place called the promised land. That's what I believe. No, no. It does exist. Hmm... You can say that too. In other words, if it doesn't exist exist for us, it did for the ancients. The promised land is the resting place for the ancients. The life of the ancients is one continuous journey, a journey to grow trees and plants and produce animals and raise Mako energy. Their harsh journeys continue throughout their lives. The place they return to after a long journey, their burial land is the promised land. Hmm, some pre happiness? I believe that, for the ancients. It was a moment that they were able to return to their planet. At that moment, they were <clears throat> they were released from their fate and gained their su supreme happiness. At least that's what I believe. I, I don't know whether or not it's the truth now. By the way, those that came with you are at the Cosmo Candle. Are you leaving? Um, not really. So everybody's waiting for us. Why, uh, waiting by the candle, which is like the centerpiece of the town. So, um, we will go there. Dun, 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 dun. Um, 
Um, actually, we're not going to go there right yet. We're going to go go check out the rest of the town first. Hmm. What is it? The story of the ancients. You can't talk of ancients without me mentioning Professor Gast. He used to come here sometimes. He was a Shinra scholar who spent his life studying the ancients. He was a serious person would never would would have never figured he'd be with the Shinra. Must have been about thirty years ago when he found the corpse of an ancient. He was elated. I don't know. If I recall, he named it Genova, and was doing a lot of research. One day, he showed up here, looking really distressed. He was mumbling something about Genova not being an ancient, and he'd done a terrible thing. He had been missing ever since. I heard he never came, and I, I heard that he never went back to Shenra. So, if you ever see Professor Gas, I want you to tell him that the old man. That the old man that likes to drink in Cosmo Canyon wants to hear about the ancients. Well, that's lots to talk about. But most things about the ancients are all legend and folk tales. No one knows the truth. By the way, your friends are all in the front waiting for you. Okay. I'm going to talk to the bar. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if we can talk to the bartender. Alright, well, we'll go in here and see what's in here. Nothing. An empty room. That's cool. Alright, we'll go upstairs and see what's up here. Oh, that's the inn. And actually... Alright. And then there's one more place we can go, which is up here. And we can actually get back there later. You looking for anything in particular? General store, and he just sells a bunch of, like, tents and all that kind of stuff. Ethers. Those would be handy, but we don't need them right now. Or, well, we're broke, so we can't buy anything. But, um, that little, uh, arrow... So this is the Cosmo Canyon, quite a mysterious place. Have you seen, have you come to seek the study of the planet life? Yeah, I heard that there's an awesome observatory here. I'd like to see it if I have a chance. Alright, now time to go in the circle of candle of life or whatever the hell it's called. What a boring place. Just like I thought. I want to go somewhere else. Let's go find some materia. Oh, sit next to Barrett. Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday when we save the planet from the Shenra, we'd all celebrate. Or we all go to Cal uh, Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs. Wedge. Jesse. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We're all... We all... We all hate the Shinra. Do I even gotta go on? Will they... Will they ever forgive me? Right. I don't... Uh, right now, I really don't know. But I know one thing. If there's anything I could do to save this planet, or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's just for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. Let them decide for themselves. Ugh, I'm gonna do it. Again. Again. Avalanche is born again. Okay. Now we'll talk to Aerith. I meant to click Cat Sith, but... I learned a lot. The Elders taught me many things. About the Cetra. The Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm... We're here for you, right? I know, I know, but I'm the only Cetra. Does that mean we can't help? Okay, let me talk to this. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. 
Not a key. Not a key. Cloud. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Cloud, five years ago... It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... It feels like you're going far away. You really... You really are. You, right? Long ago, when I was still very small, we were all on this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It was about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I'm full of pride and joy. And that's fine. But, I, but when I remember my father, my heart is full with anger. Full of anger. You really can't forgive your father. Of course, he left mother for dead. When the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of Co people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki. There's something you should see. Question mark. The place m may be dangerous. Cloud, if you and one other person will come with us. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. Um, I think we're going to have uh, Yuffie come, just for the fact that she's lower level than Tifa. So we might as well just have her go. Get her a little level up, I guess. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to, of course, switch the order. And uh, let's see here. Alright. Well, what we'll do is we'll exchange all of Aerith's stuff to Nanaki. And hopefully we can get more stuff on uh, Nanaki, like if if we have any more uh, uh, armor, armlets or something, something a little better for him. Let's give him the silver one and we can give him the carbon one, so that's good. That gives us, uh, what we'll do is uh, rearrange that. All right, so let's see here. So uh, Titan and then Sense. That'll be fine. Okay. All right, so we're gonna follow Grandpa up. Actually, we're gonna save. Um, and I might end up splitting this episode into two parts because I don't really know how long it's going to take to get through this uh, next little uh, sequence thing. So this might end up being two parts. Uh, but yeah. Just so you know that that's probably what we're going to be doing in the... What, what we'll be doing in the, this episode, like the end of this episode, we'll probably be doing in the uh, next episode too. So just so you know. Okay, there's Grandpa. Ho 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 ho. Are we all set? Yeah. Ho ho ho. Shall we go? That's how you open it. Alright, come in, come in. Hey, aren't you going with us, Grandpa? What are you crazy? It's dangerous in there. I told you that. You want an old man like me to go first? I'll be right behind you. Oh, that's smart. Even though he looks like he's going in with us, but okay. Alright. Down we go. It looks kind of trippy, the way this is, like, formed. Like the sightings and stuff and everything. And actually, we can get a, uh... Another enemy skill in this one, which is Death Sentence. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it is Death Sentence. Not very good. I mean, it, it gives like, I think, I think what it is is like 30 seconds until like instant death, but it's not very like good either. So, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through everything. It's a strange rock. Break it open. 
See, I don't remember exactly which ones you break open to get, like, actual enemies, <clears throat> and which ones you break open to get, um, like, the treasure. So, we're just gonna break them all open. Why not? It's not gonna hurt it. We're pretty high level, so, death sentence. There you go. Learn the enemy skill pretty fast. 60 seconds until, uh, intimate death. But, as you can see, we're hitting pretty high. So we have nothing to worry about. Woohoo. Level 26 for Nanaki. We actually get pretty good XP and everything in here, so that's good. But we do get into a lot of battles, so that's kind of a pain. I should have healed. All right, so for this, these kind of battles right here, I am just going to use laser, or I guess I'll use match or magic. And if this doesn't kill, I'll use that one. Yeah. Oh, my nose is runny. Oh, okay. Um, if I get another chance, I'll show you what uh, Death Blow does, too. I totally forgot about it. I'll show you the next battle. That's one thing I do like about this game, is like when you get poisoned or whatever, it doesn't keep out of battle. Hey, we're just talking about poison, and we got uh, our poison leveled up, so that's cool. So we have Bio 2 now. And uh, let's see here, we'll just arrange our stuff. And heal with a bunch of potions. No need to waste uh, MP right now, so we'll just use that. And we'll come in here. Break it. Of course, another. Alright. So we will get to Death Blow, and I'll show you what that looks like. And then I'm going to use Fire 2 on him. See, it doesn't really, like, it's a, it can be a massive attack if it hits. But just the likelihood of you actually hitting with it is so low. It's, it's for me, it's a waste. That's why I don't use it. Like, you can use it if you want, I guess. But just, I don't know. For me, it's like, it's a waste. So, actually, so that one doesn't work. So, I think this is the one that does. Yeah, that's the one we wanted. And I think there's one more actually over to the uh, left side. And I think uh, we're going to go hit that one too. So, um, of course, we're going to poison. So, we're going to use fire on them. And then we'll use matcha magic. That way we're not wasting too much, but we're not like. Yeah. I guess we'll just have Yuffie attack. And Nanaki, I guess. Those little dog, bone dog things are pretty strong, actually. There we go. Level 28 for Cloud. Yeah, I'm going to come over here and Strange Looking Rock broke it open. And, of course, it's an enemy. So. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. We'll do... Match or magic. And then fire again. See if this kills him. Ah, oh, man, my nose. Alright. Smoke bomb. Cool. So we'll come out, and there's nothing around there. So we'll run back around here, and we will go right here. 
I'm gonna heal real quick. That's why I bought 99 potions. Just saying. And, God, another battle. <sighs> and we'll just beat this one to death. Instead of, uh, trying to use magic, we'll just clobber the piss out of it. Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. Want to get through that dang door. Ho, 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 ho. Everyone hears a ghost of the Gi type killed in a certain battle. A certain battle? The vengeful spirits of the Gi never, didn't disappear and couldn't return to the live stream. We still have a far way to go. Ho, 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 ho. Old mysterious man. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come around this way first. Actually, no, we're going to go back. Never mind. I take that back. <clears throat> oh, my bad. Uh. Alright, come on. So what we're going to do is we're going to run back down here. And what you want to do is you want to be very careful. You just want to walk. Because if you don't walk, you'll slip and spikes will come out and they'll hit you. And that's not good. Because it'll hurt. Pretty bad. Add effect. That's what we want. And, uh... I think that's where I'm going to quit. So that's it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. This is your host, WhiteBoy503. Stay tuned next time to see who the hell the G is or whatever. G-I. I don't know what the hell, how to pronounce that or whatever. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned next time and I'll see you guys later. Peace.